Hi, I'm Jenna Kelly with the Green Girl Minute, and I'm here with Kevin Costner on his revolutionary technology. Kevin, tell us, what exactly does this do? Well, this, this technology was uh, behind you was developed 15 years ago, and, and uh, I wasn't able to get the industry to move towards it, but obviously with the spill we had last year, the, the equipment and what it could do it started to find its own traction, and uh, unfortunately we came to the fight very, very late, but uh, we spent the last uh, six months um, combining efforts with uh, a, a, a local businessman down here, and we have created uh, three state-of-the-art boats that will comprise the fleet that would take care of the Gulf, or certainly take care of the nine parishes in the state of Louisiana, and it's fairly simple. It's uh, eight, eight barges and uh, uh, 15 very uh, portable boats uh, could, uh, in effect, uh, uh, stop, uh, collected all the oil that, 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 um, that the well produced. And so, you know, the exchange we're looking at is uh, 9,000 boats were out there at one point trying to collect the oil versus uh, a fleet of eight. 30,000, 40,000 people were out there being paid. 120 people would maintain and operate this this equipment. So the trade-off is 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 the economic trade-off is understandably huge, but the the biggest win um, is that we can now effectively collect oil on the water long before it ever reaches our shores, if and only if we don't use dispersants. So this technology picks up the oil instead of sinking it to the bottom, which is what happened after the BP oil spell. It's very important that they don't sink the oil. It's very important that any technology that they develop, and I believe that uh, they're de developing wellhead uh, blowout preventers at the bottom of the ocean, that's all well and good, but it's imperative that they don't add the extra component of uh, dispersants at the leak because it will never come to the surface and the American public will never know that there's a leak. and so anybody can put two and two together that that's bad for the environment it's 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 a um, it's it's a it's it's not the answer the answer is mechanical recovery out of the ecosystem period and you're hoping to take this technology to other places around the world or is this going to stay right here in louisiana well it, it should be used around the world i mean the oil industry at incredible expense with the best minds in the world will go to any length to drill oil in the harshest conditions in the world. So it's not unlikely that they're going to experience accidents, man-made or otherwise. So this equipment should be replicated around the world. And we have a letter of intent from Angola, uh, from an Angolan Nigerian company, because they understand the absolute need for this equipment to be uh, on on a, on an availability, for lack of a better term. So they understand this, and a lot of these assets. Uh, if they're not picked up by the oil industry here, are going to find their way over to another country. Well, thanks so much for all your amazing work, and thanks for tuning in to the Green Girl Minute.